Peng Yi Cook is the earliest democratic institution in Hong Kong. For 90 years, the institution strives to improve people's livelihood, cultural conservation, and sustainable urban development of new territories of Hong Kong. During the 60s, Peng Yi Cook coordinated with the government on the construction of reservoirs and new satellite towns in order to cater for the rapid influx of migrants from mainland China while striving for fair treatment and benefits of relocated villages. It is the mission of the Cook to legitimately preserve traditional land rights of the indigenous villages, house themselves in their ancestral lands. Heng Yi Cook continues to work closely with villages on the preservation of intangible heritages, such as traditional festivals at Cheng Chao and Tai O, which now draws and educates many overseas Chinese and foreign visitors. Under the threat of bird flu, tens of thousands of chickens were culled. The then chairman Lao Wang Fat took the initiative to support the affected community with a golden chicken a warm, heartfelt token of solidarity. The cook also values and protects non-indigenous residents in villages. In 2012, relocation of Choi Yun village caused huge difficulties and hardships amongst its villages. Hong Yi Cook, through long hours of mediations and financial supports, enabled successful relocation and reconstruction of the village. Caring support for the elderly and educating the new generation is also one of Cook's important missions. In 2018, the super typhoon Mancud battered Hong Kong. The severe damages prompted the Cook to set up an emergency relief fund, providing unequivocal support for villagers with damaged properties. For many years, New Territory's agriculture and protected feng shui woods have inherited thousands of years of natural ecology and safe haven for wildlife. Since 2006, hundreds of villagers have already participated in recycling, waste reduction, and pilot municipal waste charging schemes. In 2006, the Cook issued a joint statement with 11 green groups to advocate the establishment of a new nature conservation trust. After 10 years, the chief executive policy address stated that the matter will be formally studied. In 2016-17 policy address, policy initiatives are realized and implemented by the Chief Executive, the Honorable Mrs. Carrie Lam, setting up the Countryside Conservation Office with 1 billion Hong Kong dollars allocated to support conservation and revitalization works. With a vision for the future, the Cook actively advocates sustainable living and new agricultural policy of Hong Kong which gained the support of the then Chief Executive Mr. C.Y. Leung and became administration policy in 2015. Coupled with the enactment of New Agricultural Park and a 500 million Hong Kong dollar sustainable agriculture development fund. A seismic green energy policy was also launched in 2017. As the principal advocator of renewable energy in Hong Kong, Peng Yi Cook successfully worked with the government to commence new guidelines and one-stop solutions to install solar panels across village houses. All these initiatives are evidence of close partnerships between urban and rural stakeholders, striving to build a better Hong Kong. As President Xi has said, the era is the mother of thought and practice is the fount of theory. Let us continue to build a sustainable, prosperous and vibrant Hong Kong. <laughs>